Hi guys, welcome to New Tool Tuesday. It is Sunday and I am unpacking um, some products I just received from Tekton. So these, I bought these, links in the description. Um, none of this was given for free, anything like that. So um, Tekton recently came out with new wrenches. Um, so they've always had wrenches um, for a long, long time. And then suddenly several months ago, they had no more wrenches in inventory, they had supply chain issues, and then they developed and released a new line of wrenches. So the wrenches I'm specifically talking about are these angled, reversible, ratcheting, 12 point wrenches. And I picked up a set of the SAE ones. Why did I pick these up? Well, for a long time, I had blue point wrenches. So here's, um, here's what a set of blue point wrenches looks like in the uh, blue point or snap on tray. Um, I bought these off the truck and I paid quite a bit of money for them. I want to say the set was about 150 bucks. Uh, this is an eight piece set and this is the SAE set. I had a metric set as well and the metric set was more pieces, more money. Um, so this is an eight piece set that starts at five sixteenths and goes all the way to three quarters of an inch. They worked well. I thought that they were nice. Um, but one thing that I never really liked about both the metric and this SAE set is that they are missing some wrenches in between the top and the bottom. So on the metric set, for example, they skipped 13 and they skipped 11. Well, 13 and 11 are actually pretty commonly used on BMWs. So not having those wrenches kind of sucks. On the SAE set, they skipped 11, 30 seconds, and they also, um, below 5 sixteenths, they don't have anything smaller. I mean, there's probably a more complete set, but my set stops at 5 sixteenths, so you don't have um, quarter inch and you don't have um, 9 30 seconds. So I had been planning on getting Tekton wrenches to replace my wrenches for a while, and I previously ordered the metric set. The metric set looks like this. Uh, it's 8 through 19 with no skips. Uh, they are six point ratcheting wrenches. This was the version that I chose. I like the six point because I feel it allows you to provide extra torque on the bolts without ruining the heads. I know that there are some tests that prove and disprove this, um, but I like the six point. I like the flat wrenches. I like flipping them over for on or off and knowing exactly which way you are set to. And I thought that this was a really nice wrench set. Um, these were a reasonable price. I liked them. So I purchased the Tekton metric set. I sold my blue point metric set and I pretty much paid for the metric Tektons, which was really cool because I ended up with more pieces. I went from a nine to like a 12. Well, I waited too long to order the SAE set and they stopped making the same set that matches what I have here. So they came out with this new set. And I think I actually like these better in some ways and worse in others. So let's talk about this. So first off the finish, you can see the finish is a satin finish compared to this other one, which is a shinier high gloss chrome finish. Um, the chrome finish always looks scratched. It always has fingerprints on it. I think that the satin finish is going to hold up a little bit better. So I like that. When I touch this versus touching that, this doesn't leave fingerprints and marks behind. Number two, six point versus 12 point. I personally like six point better. 12 point gives you more versatility. You can work with 12 point bolts. They have been shown to provide good torque specs and to exceed the ANSI specifications for the bolts that you would be putting in with a head of this size. That being said, I personally feel a draw to six point tools. I tend to default to six point tools and I feel like they don't let me down in terms of the grip strength of the heads. It's a personal preference. The rat, the, uh, reverse, the reversing mechanism that is on here works well. So you can see there's the flip from forward to reverse easy to press. You can hit it with your thumb or your finger. It doesn't protrude past the profile of the wrench, which is nice. Um, the angle can be useful from time to time, which is what kind of necessitates the reversing lever 
having this angle. Um, it can be useful from time to time. I've never really had a problem with the flat wrenches. Um, I have bumped this while trying to be in tight spaces before accidentally, not on the Tecton wrenches, but on the blue point wrenches that I have, which are the same type of ratcheting wrench. Um, but I think that it's done well. I think that the button is a, a small enough profile to be appropriate and the wrenches seem to be made well. They do have a smaller head than the blue point wrenches. And you can kind of see this when I put the profile of a three quarter on top of a three quarter. There is that amount that sticks off to the side here where you can see that these are actually larger than these. So these will likely get into tighter spaces, which is really nice. Um, in terms of organization, the Snap-on slash blue point trays have never been fantastic. There is a lot of wasted space on both sides. There is a lot of space in these gaps for the wrenches in between them. Um, Tecton offers two different types of organizers. They have their roll, which is like a cloth bag that you stick these in and it rolls up. I like those a lot. They're great for traveling. If you're going to put something in your truck or you're going to want to grab the set and walk out the door with them, those are really nice. And I do have them for my metric set. Um, they also offer a hanging um, organizer, which has a tighter organization than that does. And it also um, doesn't stick out past the edges of the wrenches. So you can kind of like make a triangle in your drawer, make a triangle the opposite way in your drawer and fit more stuff in your drawer. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with this purchase. These were $125 for the set. They make two different size sets. I purchased the smaller one. This starts at quarter inch, goes all the way to three quarter inch. Um, there are no skips. You know, I think from a value perspective, I'm going to sell these blue points. They will probably pay for this set. And this set has three more wrenches in it. So that's pretty nice. I also feel as though it is a more complete set. When you go larger than something like three quarters, you know, I realize that seven eighths, one inch, these sizes exist. Those are pretty good bolt sizes for using something like an adjustable wrench. You know, you set an adjustable wrench, you use it to tighten and loosen your bolts. It works very well when you've got a head size that's sufficient for the, we'll say sloppiness that is in an adjustable wrench inherently by design. Uh, smaller bolts like uh, an 11 30 seconds or a 9 30 seconds, those are going to be really tough to do with a, um, an adjustable wrench. Typically that's when you're getting into uh, locking pliers or vice grips or something along those lines. And those do tend to mar up the head. So I like having the right wrenches for stuff that is small. So that being said, um, these seem like a really, really nice set. You know, obviously they don't match my metric set. I don't know which ones I like better. I like the satin finish on these. The angle can be nice in certain times. I like the six point on that and the simplicity and the flatness. Um, but the ratcheting mechanism feels really good. Um, it's not rough. It's not hard to, to do. The reversing switch is very nice. The profile is low. They're a really nice set. And once again, um, I think that they're a great Tecton tool that I can recommend to anybody. And I'm going to add the additional tool grid to fit these in my drawer and make my set more complete. So anyway, thank you for watching and I hope you're having a great day.